it's Marlene and Otto with 303 Photo and Adventure. Today our adventures are going to take you to Red Rocks Amphitheater. So stay tuned for some amazing photos and some adventures. Alright, here we are at the entrance cave of Red Rocks Park and Amphitheater. It was so windy this day, we ended up having to scrap all the mics. So it's not quite as fun as it would be. There's the Red Rocks right there, the amphitheater to the left. We're gonna take the Upper North Lot Trail to the main entry. And if you look around, these Red Rocks are everywhere and they're just stunning. Some are monstrous. This is probably the prettiest of the trail hike as far as the concrete goes. And here's where you start to get your first view of the venue. And this actual, the architect for this designed it to be similar to the one that's in uh, Greece. And you can see all the way to DIA. Pretty much anywhere you look over this railing is a view. It's just unbelievable. Make sure you pick up a brochure up at the information office. It's a hundred feet of elevation from the stage to the top seats in the theater. So you can imagine how steep this is. And during the week, people sit here and run it. But today it's too cold. Nobody's out running. There's a couple people. It's pretty desolate today. In the gift shop, you can get coins. They have three to four or five different styles. I think we bought three of them. And here we are going up to the top seats so you can take a look at this amazing venue from the top. There's not a bad seat in this place. We've been there for a few concerts and movies, movie on the night, or movie on the rocks, I guess it is. Pretty incredible. And here's a, a shot I took at the last concert I went to. It was Cheap Trick and Heart, and there's a big lightning storm behind it. You can really get some great shots here around sunrise and sunset that are just remarkable. I would highly recommend it. There's my wife frozen on the seat.
Here's the map for all the trails around the park. This museum's incredible. It lists every act that is ever performed here and what day. Looks like in the early stages, it was just one show pretty much per year. And now you can see how many shows there were in just 2019. And one of the only groups that has never performed at Red Rocks is the Rolling Stones. Crazy. And the Beatles are one of, I guess, one of the few groups that haven't, hasn't sold out here. Um, when the Beatles came, they did their first ever North America tour and Denver was the only site that didn't sell out. This thing has a ton of steps, incredible vertical. Um, I hiked this two days in a row for this, and the first day I went the other direction up these after going down them, and oh man, it was the last thing I did that day. <laughs> and whew, man, our legs were burning. Because they're doing construction um, in the area that bridges these two sides of the amphitheater, um, I'm going to have to take the car down to the other side now so we can shoot the rest of the other park. <laughs> 